Hey, how you doing today? I am Tequila Coleman. In today's video, I'm going to speak to my God-ordained spouses about the mistakes you are making while standing for your God-ordained love story. And one of the mistakes the God-ordained spouses are making is leaving that door cracked open to the prodigal. Listen, when God tells you to let go of this prodigal, when God tells you to surrender, when God reveals to you that this individual is up under God's wrath and they have been given over to a reprobate mind, when you see the counterfeit, you know, still being present, in the picture whenever you know your person you know make you start making you feel like an option you got to close that door all the way you got to stop leaving it open right you got to stop leaving you know that door cracked open to that prodigal you know just in case no close it all the way shut the door lock the door okay and throw away that key right and the reason why i say that is because when we leave the door cracked open here come the enemy coming in. And this is why many of you are frustrated. This is why you're tired. This is why you just like, God, I don't even want this anymore. This is why you why you ready to just walk away from it all because that door still cracked open, which means you have the door cracked open to the enemy to come in and now frustrate you. Now to come in and bring confusion. Now to come in, you know, and take jabs at your self-worth. And so we got to get to a place where we are, number one, obedient to scripture. You already know what the scripture say, because I, I told you in previous videos, do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. Can two walk together except they be agreed? It's a come out from among them. It's a bad company, corrupt good character, right? How many more scriptures do you need before you get out of that kitchen and, and close this door to the prodigal? How many more times do you need the enemy to come in and frustrate you and stress you out and, and, and cause you to feel, you know, like, like, why am I even standing? Right. You know, some of you have taken this mindset. You're like, why am I even standing? Why am I even doing it? You know, like, you know, you, you're allowing the enemy to come in and uh, cause you to behave in self-sabotaging ways. Right. This is why God tell us, let the prodigal go close the door completely to this person right and you got to deal with your fears around closing the door to this person okay so when we talk about closing the door to the prodigal you got to stop allowing this person to call you or text you here and there and you and you constantly answering it many of you be like well how do i stop you know the person from calling you stop answering Stop answering the phone. Stop responding back to the text message. They will eventually get the hint. Okay? Like, really? <laughs> you know, many of you, you don't even realize that you are being tested by God. You still fell in the obedience test. Okay? So, you have to begin to understand this process. We have to grow in our obedience to the Lord because if you can't be obedient to just letting go of a prodigal and closing that door all the way, that also means to God, you won't be obedient to, you know, whatever instructions I give you in the promised land. That means, right, because I'm telling you, how you show up in, in one area is how you're going to show up in, in other areas, okay? So, again, God, he give us small assignments, okay? He tell us, or I should say assignment, he give us small instruction, right? he tell us, let them go. Get out of the kitchen, right? And he's looking to see who's going to be obedient to my word, right? And, and for those who, who have been obedient, who let the person go, they got out of the kitchen, right? And it's been months or even years. God is like, okay, I see you ready to go to the next level in your obedience to me, right? So that's what God was, you know, he had began to tell you, you know, put away, you know, stop doing the uh, witchcraft, you know, be obedient to living out his commandments, right? And then we got to walk through that season, right? And we got to show God, okay, all right, I'm growing in this area, right? It's levels to this thing, OK, so if you still have that door open to the prodigal, that simply means to me, you still is failing the obedience test and you have the door open to the enemy and you see the enemy coming in and attacking you because you are the one who left feeling frustrated, irritated. You stressed out. You're ready to give up. Right. You coming up under torment of the mind. It's causing you to feel some type of way. Right. This is how the enemy coming in and attacking you. So we got to close the door to the enemy. I mean, not the enemy. We got to, well, yes, but we got to close the door to the prodigal, right? 
and not care how it's going to make the prodigal feel when they see you no longer answering the calls or responding back to the text messages. I know it sounds cold hearted or whatever, but whatever. I, okay, you have to make a decision. Am I going to be obedient to God or am I going to continue to bow down to my prodigal and make my prodigal my God, Lord Case G, the one I keep listening to, the one I keep this door open to? Okay, because that's what that's what's going on here. When you understand this on this level, when you understand when I have the door open to the prodigal, when I stay in communication with this person, when I continue to be around this person and God has given me revelation that this is a prodigal I'm dealing with, this person is up under God's wrath. When, when God has given me the revelation and I see all the signs of a reprobate mind, but yet I still choose to stay and entertain this individual, you are now engaging scripture, but you engage in the wrong scripture which is why your life is coming under attack, which is why your mind is being tormented, okay? So you, we have to understand scripture, the word of God. We got to understand that God's instruction in it is his protection, but also God has given us instruction to see whether or not, you know, uh, based upon how you respond to these instructions is going to communicate to God whether or not you're ready to go to the next level or not. So let's pass that obedience test by letting go of this prodigal. I just did a teaching inside of our God ordained marriage academy on surrender. How do you surrender? I just did that teaching last week, um, you know, with the academy members, you know, and here's the thing too. Many of you are trying to go through this stance off of prophetic words. You need more. Okay. You need more than just a prophetic word. Okay, you need teaching, you need community support, you need accountability, you need okay, questions answered, you need okay, some direct teaching that's going to help you grow in healing, development, you know, um, deliverance, you know, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And this is what I'm providing inside of our God ordained marriage academy. Okay, so God don't He don't want you trying to walk this process out alone, trying to figure it out by yourself. You don't have to figure out what you know, God has already led me to be, I already built the academy. It's time for many of you to say yes and begin to roll over into properly preparing for your God ordained love story. Okay. So if you are, um, if you're ready to join the academy, just head over to God ordained marriages.com forward slash academy. I will leave the link in the description area, but we have to close the door to the uh, prodigal. Okay. We got to pass that obedience test. Okay. If you want to get to the promise, you got to pass the obedience test, okay? When you pass that test that is communicating to the Lord, I will pass, okay, other tests, right? You know, when I'm in my promise land, okay? So with that, I am Tequila Coleman. I'll talk to you real soon. Take care.